Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here from blog to watch Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Tudor Chrono Heritage Blue, a new watch for 2013. This is based on the Tudor um, uh, Heritage Chrono, the uh, one from last year, which had sort of a gray theme. This one has more of this bluish theme, as you can see. Um, and this is based on a historic model that has sort of been called uh, the Tudor uh, Monte Carlo. And so this is very much kind of like a, a retro reissue in very much a modern skin. Now, Tudor if you're not familiar with the brand, is a watch that is owned by Rolex. So it is a baby brand of Rolex, and it's been around for a very, very long time. Um, but it has been absent from the United States and some other countries, um, such as the UK, I believe, for quite some time. Uh, the good news is that as of about September 2013, Tudor is going to be uh, reintroducing itself to the United States, which is very, very exciting for a lot of people. Why is that a big deal? Well, I wouldn't go so far as to call Tudor a baby brand, but it's very much a more accessible brand for a lot of people with prices that um, are under mo most of the starting prices of Rolex. And one of the reasons behind that is because Tudor watches use base ETA movements versus the in-house movements that Rolex makes. Um, our Tudor watches that are not as good. I wouldn't say that. I'd say it's on a it's on a different level. And what Tudor has done the last couple of years is framed itself as being an excellent uh sort of not alternative but complementary product to Rolex so what they've done is they made it so that you can own Rolex watches and Tudor watches very comfortably side by side um, but again the Tudor watches are going to come in at a more accessible price point which is very very exciting for a lot of people and a model like this Heritage Chrono Blue is very much in line with the types of things that you're going to expect from Tudor so professional looking watches, very much a focus on functionality, a lot of inspiration from the past. And, and that's a good thing. Um, I think that Tudor is going to be very, very successful in the United States um, and, and for good reason. So let's take a better look at this watch. As you can see, you have a 42 millimeter wide steel case with a steel bracelet. But in addition to the steel bracelet, it also comes with this um, nylon uh, NATO style strap. Now there's a lot of of NATO style straps out there and this one is unique for a couple of reasons. One of the things that makes it unique of course is these buckles and these are all very custom uh, buckles right here. They're made of good milled metal. You have that sort of Tudor kind of logo right there that kind of Tudor has their own it has a shield versus a crown um, so this would be the top of that shield. Um, you can see the low the hand is in the way there but you you should be familiar of course with the Tudor uh, logo by now. It's got like a little bit of a shield. Let's take a look at it there. There you go. So that Tudor shield, and you can see the top has a little bit of that wave pattern, which is represented um, again in that buckle um, here. Uh, the pieces are, are very, very good. And what Tudor was trying to do in offering this this uh, strap option was to sort of take the popularity of NATO style straps, which tend to be very, very inexpensive, and make it as nice as possible. So I think they've done a very, very good job. I and mean, one of the things you'll notice is that when you fit uh, the strap to the case. It's a very, very nice integrated fit. So in the full review, um, I'll have some pictures, of course, of the watch on the strap. But the strap is a big part of it because of these colors that, of course, you know, go with that dial. And it looks really, really great. But um, I am a bracelet person, and this and this bracelet is very, very good. I wanted to mention, of course, that the, the strap just comes with the watch. It's not like you have to choose either bracelet or the strap. You buy it, and it comes with both of them, so you can freely um, change. Uh, Rolex, of course, is known for the bracelets and this is no disappointment. You have a nice slight taper here. Um, the deployant is good, it's relatively clean. It's a safety clasp here you to sort of open it up. Well done, um, well made. Again, it's not quite as high end as some of the Rolex pieces, such as the bracelet on a Submariner, but there's um, really, really nothing here to, to be disappointed. The finishing on the metal, the brushing is, is very, very good. And again, these components are all made in-house at Rolex. So metal and polishing are just gonna be top, top notch. 
and I can't emphasize um, again how well uh, they've done that. You have here a rotating bezel. This is a this would be uh, not exactly a timing bezel because it has um, hours versus sort of a, a the minutes there for like a 60 minute countdown. But you could be you could make it either a second time zone or an hour count uh, countdown. But you could even use it again as a minute countdown. And this is a bi-directional bezel, and again this is um, sort of taken off of that 1970s Monte Carlo model. This is a chronograph watch. And inside of it is a Swiss at a 2894 um, uh, chronograph automatic. They've removed the hour counter there in order to clean up the dial a little bit and again make it more like the uh, the heritage, the vintage model. Um, so you have um, you have here a 45 minute chronograph. They've modified it a little bit. So usually this would be a 30 uh, minute counter. They've modified it to 45 minutes. Here you have a running seconds dial and here you have uh, the chronograph uh, hand uh, for, the, for the seconds. And you also have screw down um, pushers there. So you have to screw, well, they, they, they screw up in order to make them so that they can operate. And then they screw down in order to protect uh, the case from water as well as dust. The, the case is water resistant to 150 meters. Tudor, of course, makes very good dive watches that are, are going to be water resistant uh, even deeper. And operation here is quite nice. These are simple uh, to, to, uh, to twist and to screw down and they feel good. You have their in blue, kind of like a blue lacquer, the Tudor logo on the crown. On the back, it's very typical of sort of a Rolex watch, though there is a little bit of branding on there. Most Rolex watches have a clean case back, which means there's no text at all here. It just sort of says uh, Tudor Swiss uh, Geneva um, or Geneva. And so you have their kind of a mix between that Rolex look and some other watches. Overall, it's a very attractive dial. You have the applied hour markers, lots of loom on there. Um, you have the, the nice colors that in sort of that retro 70s look with that blue and that orange. And it's just, it's a, it's a nice watch. I think it's a little bit friendlier than the standard Heritage Chrono with the, the gray. Again, it's going to depend on, on your style, but the blue for me with this blue and a little bit of orange, a little bit more sporty, a little bit more sort of uh, summery. And again, I live in Los Angeles, so this is the type of thing you could wear all the time, I guess, in other environments. That's not always going to be the case. Um, at 42 millimeters wide um, with these wider lugs, I think this is a very good size for the watch. They've done a very good job at making sure that this type of thing is going to fit on many, many wrists. And I also wanted to mention that the bracelet, um, you you of course have these uh, these screws here that allow you to take out the uh, the links, and there's also a little bit of micro adjustability there in the deployment, which makes it very very nice. So again, this is the Tudor Heritage Chrono Blue, new for 2013. Um, an exciting watch, a good looking watch, and we uh, very much welcome Tudor back to the United States. The retail price for this model is $4,425, and you can see the full review soon on a blog to watch. Thanks.